Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you how to automate effects in uh, Cubase. Um, automation is used on a variety of different genres across the board, um, and I think you'll find it useful to have in your production arsenal. Okay, I have an 8-bar loop laid out. I'm going straight to the insert uh, channel inserts here, and I'm going to throw in uh, any EQ, um, I think I'll just throw in, it really doesn't matter what you want to use, you could do this with any uh, effect, I just want you to get the, the basic concept here. So for example, I'm going to throw in this uh, Waves Q1, okay, and I'm going to enable it, and I'm going to put a little shelf on it, I mean a little cut, roll it off, okay, so anyways, um, so it's all set up, nothing fancy so far, right? You probably know all this already. Now to automate the actual EQ while I play this loop to record it, uh, you, these two buttons, in case you've never used them, R is to read automation, W is to write automation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the write automation, which automatically enables the read automation, okay? So this thing is telling me that it's armed, okay? This thing is ready to receive an input and record it, okay? So... I'm going to go ahead and let her rip. Okay, now let's listen back. I can disable the right automation. And uh, the read automation, I want I want to leave it enabled. Otherwise, it won't read what we just recorded. Okay, it won't read the automation we just recorded. Let's see if this thing actually picks up and goes. Okay, so we see that it worked. Also, if if you didn't get it quite right, because I know sometimes it's hard to control this with a mouse, uh, in Cubase, all you need to do is click on this little button here, and it'll show you a volume. Now, volume is also automatable. Everything is. Uh, but we don't want volume. We want, the, we want that uh, filter EQ that we just automated. So if you click on volume, it'll give you an option to tweak anything we just did, right? And what we did was we did the band one frequency, okay? And here it shows us uh, the exact diagram of how our automation went. Now, I, I might want to smooth it out. And a quick way to do that is just grab all these little points and click delete. I could actually even move this back a little bit so we get a nice little downward slope. And then it'll swoop back in. And maybe I'll just clean that up a little bit. I usually like my swoop a little bit rounded. But all in all, it's not too bad. Um, you might want to disable the snap on off, which is here. Take the snap on off so we could really kind of get some control in it. Okay. Something like this. All right, let's, let's, uh, let me get rid of those actually. Let's try this. There we go. Let's listen to this real quick. Okay, that's pretty easy, right? And that's all there is to it. Uh, feel free to experiment on your own with different uh, effects like uh, delays and reverbs and uh, you know flanges, whatever comes to mind. Uh, I hope you've uh, got something out of this. Uh, if you got any questions, post them in the comment sections below, and I'll catch up to you guys later. Peace.